I've always taught um, all three components of calculus, the Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, um, along with teaching pre-calculus, of course. And it was always clear to me that the students who came to calculus uh, could have been prepared pretty well with their pre-calculus, but they were always missing certain elements that could have been done in pre-calculus. And so when I finally wrote a pre-calculus series, um, I made sure of several things. One, that there would be that there would be references to calculus where it was appropriate. So for example, when, when you're dealing with asymptotes, uh, you're, you're talking about a certain kind of limit. I will mention the fact that we have a limit at infinity or we have an infinite limit uh, in place. No definitions, but the symbolism will be, will be presented. So the notation of limit will be seen by a student in pre-calculus, and then they're not gonna wonder where did this come from when they enter calculus itself. More importantly than, than those kind of re references, though, is the fact that when definitions are given, for example, of difference quotient, those definitions are exactly the definitions they will see when they get to calculus. There's absolutely no difference at all. All of these are references referenced in the books with a calculus icon. It's a capital delta with an integral sign through it. And the exercises that relate to it are, are also uh, referenced in the same fashion. So yeah, the calculus uh, is not only previewed, but it's actually, in many cases, emphasized.